Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, sister. Welcome to the show. What's your question for us today? I'm on the studio. Yes, you're on the studio. Um, well, I have a question about myself. I suffer from schizophrenia, and I can't pray, and I can't recite the Quran as well. Okay. Could you, I could you sorry, sister, I, I didn't catch that. Could you uh, describe what the illness is? Describe the, the illness. Mental illness. Schizophrenia. Okay. Schizophrenia. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, you can continue. Thank you so much, sister. And uh, if the chef could uh, tell me what, what I should do. You're, you're finding difficulty uh, praying, you said? Yeah, praying. Okay. And I feel uh, depressed as well. Do you need more elaboration? No, I don't give a general answer. No. Okay then, sister. Thank you so much for calling us today. Do you have any more questions? No. All right then. Inshallah, we'll be, uh, the Sheikh will be able to help you, sister. Um, stay okay. strong, inshallah. Thank you so much for calling. May Allah reward you. Uh, for everyone else watching at home, brothers and sisters, this is a live show. Ask you, man. You're able to call us in just like the sister just did and ask us any question in the capacity of your lifestyle as a Muslim uh, regarding any challenges you may be going through, any specific topics you'd like clarification on, or anything. You know better your questions. The number is 0203 637 6857. We will be live over the next hour or more here, inshallah, for the duration of the show. So be sure to, call, to pick up the phone and call us in to benefit yourselves and have everyone else watching, inshallah. You're also able to follow us on Facebook where there's a live stream at Iman Channel's Facebook. So just type in Iman Channel. You'll land on the page and find the live stream where you're also able to send your comments there, your questions there in the comment section, inshallah. So Sheikh, uh, the sister asked that uh, due to her mental illness, which is schizophrenia, she's finding difficulty praying, mm -hmm. uh, she's suffering depression. If you could give us some advice no. in regards to no. this. So firstly, Asallallahu al Azim, Rabbul Arsh al Kareem, and Yashfi Ukhtana. That Allah Sallallahu Subhanahu Wa Taala, that He cures and makes it easy for our sister, and she should know, Inshallah, and every Muslim should know that Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala will only test every individual according to the level of their iman. Mm -hmm. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will never test you with a test that is beyond your capability mm -hmm. in that you are doomed to fail, that you can never pass that test, yes. okay? You know, if I put myself in an exam which is to do with physics or something like that, an A-level or even beyond that, mm -hmm. for me, I will, I will fail because, <laughs> isn't, you know, I, I don't know, it's not my speciality and I will fail it for sure. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will always test us with an exam, with a test that we are able to pass. Yes. And this is because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves us and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is merciful to us. Yes. Even though, subhanAllah, even though that you may not see the rahmah, the mm -hmm. mercy and the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at that very moment. Mm -hmm. But as long as you persevere and you show patience with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, yes. for sure Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will allow you to see the, the beauty and the benefit of being patient and how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves you for that test. Okay. okay. So if ever, all of us, we always bear that in mind. Even though we have very, very testing times, mm -hmm. and we have very difficult times, uh, different, you know, different uh, in points in our life, that if I if I know that it is Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala is the one who is testing me, then for sure, and it only and makes it only makes sense that I am going to ask the one who is testing me, mm -hmm. and that is Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Mm -hmm. If I know Allah is testing me, I'm not going to go to somebody else to help me. Mm -hmm. If Allah is testing me, I will go to Allah to help me. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make it easy for the sister mm. and to make it easy for all of our brothers and sisters who are going through uh, you know, uh, any kind of mental health issues mm -hmm. because you know, sometimes uh, it is very difficult for them to, you know, maybe to access the, the necessary help mm -hmm. that, uh, that is, 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 is available. Yes. And sometimes we find certain communities, uh, Muslim communities, that they, they don't want to recognize that somebody can have you know some form of depression how a muslim mm -hmm. can be depressed what are you talking about mm -hmm. read quran go read quran and go make dua and you'll be fine mm -hmm. okay no there, there are certain me mental illnesses that do affect muslims okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the fact that uh the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to seek refuge from al huzn from sadness means that it can afflict people okay so it can afflict people so p if muslims have this notion that you know muslim a muslim is never depressed yes a muslim is never sad mm -hmm. uh, this is a mistake to say such a thing because we have clear supplications 
that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi taught us to seek refuge in Allah Jalla wa'ala so that we don't fall into sadness, okay? So yes. it can afflict and it can, it can affect people. <coughs> so there may be certain communities who, who reject this notion that Muslims can have any form of of mental illness mm. and, and so on and so forth, just let them get on with it and they want to just overlook it mm. and in the end you find that that individual who's going through that who's suffering through that only you know that the suffering continues mm. and alhamdulillah uh, in the uk uh, we have many services that are available to uh, to help people reg you know regarding or depending on whatever difficulty that they're going through okay mm -hmm. so uh, if the sister is is feeling like this i would I would say to her to try and access as many services, as much help yes. as she can because it's a medical issue. Okay, medical issues aren't just something physical. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know, I've cut myself, I've broken my bone or I need yes. an operation or something <coughs> like that. Sometimes we need a medical help which is to do with our minds as well. We need support. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it is extremely important that as a Muslim community that we recognize that so that we can deal with it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I would say to the sister that she should uh, seek medical help, 100% mm -hmm. inshallah ta'ala, that there are certain things out there which can help uh, which can help her inshallah ta'ala mm. okay and not forgetting not forgetting that that the one who is testing her and it is no doubt a test from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mm. that it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that the only one no human being will change her state it is mm. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to change her state and change all of our states mm -hmm. and our situations that if she you know she recognizes that there, there is an issue and she wants to deal with it mm. at the time she is feeling well the time that she feels, you know, because sometimes you know, there are good days and maybe there are other days which are, she doesn't feel so good. Mm -hmm. Okay, the days that you do feel good, then make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes. Okay, call upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and part of our uh, relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because I say, I'm a Muslim. I say, La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah. Mm -hmm. I say that, therefore, I recognize Allah as my Lord mm -hmm. and whom I worship. Mm -hmm. And part of my worship is that I will offer salawat. Mm -hmm. I will offer my salah when I can, inshallah ta'ala, when I know that I feel good and I feel strong. Mm -hmm. There may be days when maybe I forget myself. I don't know what I, I feel that I'm not in control of myself, okay? If this is the situation, then there's nothing upon you because, you know, you don't know what is happening, okay? Mm -hmm. And we know that the pen is raised on certain people, mm -hmm. okay? You're not accountable for your deeds, if you like. Okay. But it is important that you, 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 know, you take and look into the necessary help so that you don't cause yourself any harm, mm -hmm. okay? But the days and the times that you do feel good, inshallah ta'ala, then you you try to establish the prayer, okay? Mm -hmm. You try your very best to um, to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make easy your situation. And I'm sure and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. Uh, in the fact that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not send down any illness except that there is a cure for it as well. Okay, okay. And there is a help for that. So if a person feels that, that that they have a difficulty, have some form of illness, mm -hmm. go and search that there were Go and f you know look for that uh, treatment that will mm -hmm. help you. Be even Allah Taala by Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala's permission. And I think this is not only an advice for the sister and Allah mm -hmm. Subhanahu Wa Taala to make it easy for her, but also all of our brothers and sisters that if they have uh, illnesses or, or difficulties, whether it's physical or mental or something, or even spiritual issues, go to a person who can help you. Okay. And by Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala's permission, mm -hmm. because Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala made these as a means, yes. okay, for you, Inshallah Taala, be eventually to be cured by Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Thank you so much. In addition to that, I, mm. don't, I don't know if you're aware, mm. there's, a, there's a charity in the community that's mm. doing great work in regards to raising awareness mm -hmm. and, and kind of like combating the stigma existing mm. in the community in regards yes, to yes, mental I'm health. Yes, I'm of them, yes. Yeah, in Spirited Minds. Yes, that's they're right. called in Spirited Minds and they, yeah. they have, they, they have counsellors. That's right. Alhamdulillah. So I thought just a good mention there. I, 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 yeah. I, re I remember when they were first being established. Yes. And uh, they contacted me and they said, you support our, going, uh, mm. our things. This was maybe a couple of years ago. Yes. And I said, it's, it's a very much needed kind of service within the Muslim community. Mm -hmm. uh, because, you know, I, I, not just on this topic of mental health, mm -hmm. but sometimes uh, as Muslims, because we have been given alhamd, guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, mm -hmm. and uh, we know that Allah wa has given us a perfect way of life, that somehow that all of our lives will somehow be perfect, okay. and that we don't suffer, or we don't, when there's no vices within our community, there's no ills in our community, that certain things don't happen, Mm -hmm. You know everything is everything is lovely, and we're looking at our, uh, looking at through look at the world through rose tinted glasses. Mm -hmm. And the reality is that yes, Alhamdulillah, we have perfect guidance from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Mm -hmm. We have a perfect uh, way of life. We have a perfect Prophet in the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But that doesn't guarantee, for sure, because none of us will be perfect. We all mm -hmm. have sins. We all have shortcomings, and some of those shortcomings and some of those sins will be things which we don't want to recognize. Mm -hmm. That there will be certain practices that 
are maybe well known in non-Muslim you know, uh, environments or non-Muslim communities that as Muslims we'd be embarrassed to say that you know, we have such things going on. Yes, yes. Okay, mm -hmm. so things like domestic uh, violence, mm -hmm. okay, this is something which unfortunately is, is very common. Okay, even child abuse, billah, it does exist within Muslim communities. And it's not sufficient for us to say that we have Islam and we are Muslims and everything is okay. And that they have a beard and she wears a hijab and they are praying and that a person wouldn't do such a thing. Mm -hmm. okay. It is possible that a person may do a thing, astaghfirullah. Okay? Yes. And it is important that we recognize that these ills, that they do exist within our community and that they need to be dealt with. Okay. And not just to put things under the carpet and to say, no, everything is okay and everything will be okay. If you're aware of such things that people need help, mm -hmm. you should uh, ensure, because it's part of our religion, uh, and, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Kuntum khayr ummatin nas, that you are the best nation that was raised amongst man people, uh, amongst mankind. Why? Because you command the good and forbid the evil and believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Mm -hmm. So if such ills are going on in communities, command the good, forbid the evil. Mm -hmm. Okay, it is not sufficient for us to say it doesn't exist. It does exist, unfortunately. Okay, it's a reality yes. and it's important we deal with it in the appropriate way. Wallahu. Thank you so much, Sheikh. May Allah reward you. Amen.